Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Time for a little java juice. It's chilly this morning. Yeah. I would cheers you, but mine's empty. I need some coffee. ready for the day took a shower at a zoom call this morning like all kinds of stuff like computer work that I had to get done I asked y'all on Instagram and on YouTube if you wanted to see a day in the life or more recipes and it was pretty much split so I'm just gonna kind of do both I have a crock pot recipe that I'm gonna put on right now before we leave I was actually trying to think like what are we gonna have for dinner tonight because I honestly don't have time to cook we're gonna go pick up the camper at the farm tonight because we're going camping tomorrow and I was like, what am I going to make? And then I realized I had some chicken. It's frozen, but I think it'll be just fine. I have some Olive Garden Italian dressing. I have some cream cheese. I was like, oh, perfect. I can throw together the Olive Garden Crock-Pot chicken recipe. I also have some broccoli that I need to cook. So that's going to work out just splendid. And then I have a lot of errands that we got to run. I need to go to Target. I'm out of my eyebrow pencil, deodorant, body wash. And then I also need some... Um, like hand soap for the camper so we gotta go to target then i want to run by aldi bunky and i were actually watching moss family tv last night fun fact we watch it every single night we brush our teeth get ready for bed get in bed and then we turn on moss family tv and it is our favorite thing we never miss a video if y'all don't watch them i'm gonna link fallon's channel in my description box we adore them. We love them so much. So anyway, um, she did an Aldi haul and they had some really fun stuff. And I want to get some things for our camping trip this weekend. So running by there. And then if we have time, I might run into Kirkland's because I want to see if they have Christmas decor out. And no, I'm not skipping fall. I'm not skipping Thanksgiving. I'm still very excited about those things. I just want to see the Christmas decor. So all of you Scrooges who get mad at me, don't get mad at me. I'm just excited for all of the things that all of these seasons bring. So anyway, we have a very busy day. So let's get this crock pot recipe on first so we can go run our errands. By the way, I don't know if we told y'all, but we got a um, like little vacuum sealer and we love it. So every time we go to Sam's and get like a big package of chicken, we just take like two pieces and put it in our little vacuum sealer bags and then that way it kind of stays more fresh in the freezer and then we just like label whatever date it is um i will try and find the one that we got because i think we got it on amazon and i'll link it down below for y'all but these little things are actually incredible so i'm going to put this in first just by itself and let it go ahead and cook for a little bit then when we get back i'll add everything else in
Okay, so somehow I got out of there with just the four things that I went in there looking for. That's like a miracle. And my eyebrow pencil was $2 off with my Target Circle app. So that was a score. And I think I am going to try and run into Kirkland's really fast and just see if they have any Christmas stuff out. And then I need some lunch because I am so hungry. So I think I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A, grab some lunch. Then we'll go to Aldi because there is no way I can go to Aldi and go buy groceries being as hungry as I am or else I would buy the whole store and get all the sweets and stuff. So Kirkland's, Chick-fil-A, Aldi. Okay, Kirkland's by far has the most beautiful Christmas decor that I have seen yet. It was stunning. Okay, just kidding about the Chick-fil-A because the line is wrapped all the way around the building. So I gotta think of something else. It's like literally out here. That's where it starts. Why is Chick-fil-A always so crowded? Cause it's the Lord's food, that's why. Are you the most excited? That's what I was secretly hoping it's for, It's really, honestly, like the whole reason I went to Aldi was because I was like, we need this cake for our camping trip, but I'm about to like dive into it right now. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get a little bit tonight. We'll eat half tonight and we'll eat half this weekend. Half? <laughs> we got some vanilla ice cream too. Oh, bonky. Yeah, it's on. Okay, so before I give y'all the rest of my Aldi haul, I need to go ahead and get the rest of my stuff in the crock pot. Um, I'm actually gonna leave that little bit of liquid in there because it's not too much today. And then to it, we're gonna add cream cheese. The recipe calls for one block, but I really only like to do about half just because I don't want it to be too thick and heavy. If I need more later, I'll add it or I'll add some sour cream. But to start, I'm gonna do half. And then we're gonna add in some Parmesan. We're gonna add in almost this entire bottle of Italian dressing and then lots of black pepper. And I'll pop a lid back on and let this keep cooking for a couple hours. a surprise but I put it in the fridge so I could like really surprise you. Oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh, the vanilla latte. They had your coffee but not mine. All day lattes. I got it for our camping trip so <laughs> you could take yours and I'll take mine. I always forget that whenever we go camping like you only are obsessed with hot coffee. You know what you really surprised me with? What? These <laughs> potatoes. No I didn't. You know I was going to get them. Melissa's potatoes. <laughs> 
know I love baby Dutch potatoes. Baby Dutch yellow potatoes. Of all the potato options that are out there, I actually kind of like Those these. are my favorite. Okay, let me give y'all this Aldi haul. Okay, Bonnie's gonna actually give us our haul. All right, so. Tell me what you think about all the stuff I picked out. <clears throat> well, I think that we have a wonderful assortment of different grocery items. Here. Evil gonna do good today. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with Funfetti Oreo. Is this for that uh, the pudding cake no, that we made? No, I oh. just like saw that. And they actually had a Funfetti Oreo pancake mix. Mm. You don't think that would be good? I don't know about that. We all need to take a moment because <laughs> after all of y'all's comments. Mm -hmm. Doubt me. Bunky finally hung the window pane. Doubt me. <laughs> It's so much nicer to have something hung over there, B. And I feel accomplished and proud of myself and I'm happy that everybody can enjoy this beautiful chicken wire picture frame. <laughs> Window frame. Yes, I'm gonna put, um, cause you guys know like, all my fall stuff's probably coming down in the next, I don't know, week and a half, two weeks. So I'm gonna actually put like a really pretty Christmas wreath on there, I think. Anyway, back to this Aldi okay. haul. We picked up some pumpkin puree and apple pie filling just to have on hand for fall baking. Just classic holiday cooking necessities. Exactly. Right there. Yeah. Um, and you can always use an extra can of crescent rolls. I got those for a very specific video I'm gonna film here soon. Oh, all right. What else we got? What about this uh, Funfetti Oreo frosting. It's here. for our it's for our Funfetti Oreo cake bee. Ah, they go to they go together. They go huh? together. What's that back there? Air fried chicken tenders. That's also why I went to Aldi because that's what we saw in Fallon's um video. Mm -hmm. She had showed that these were in her store and we love to like uh, make these for our lunches and do like a buffalo chicken, chicken wrap. wrap. Oh, yeah. So good. And I will say that these were less expensive at Aldi, so I was super excited to find them. Well, that's good. Well, they're, they're always delicious, always a hit. Oh! More I, brie. More brie. Can't go wrong with that. Huh? I already want to make that recipe again. It was amazing. Yeah, looking forward to the next, uh, the next occurrence of that one. What'd I get here? Uh, you got yourself a new folding step stool. <laughs> My pink one broke. Yeah, at least this one's not pink. Uh, it's polka dot though. It'll look nice and over there. Oh, you already threw my pink one away? I removed it from the end. I, I removed it. Okay. I didn't, I feel Well, bad. I stepped on it and my foot went through it, so I needed a new Thank one. Thank goodness you weren't hurt. Exactly. Thank goodness you didn't fall down and really hurt yourself. We have some cashews. Yes, for, for, for snacking. Uh huh. Uh, we have your Olive Garden Italian Kitchen signature recipe croutons. Garlic, You're so good at this. Garlic honey. and Romano. <laughs> Great for salad toppings. I feel like you could be a really good game show host. You know what I did watch the other day? What? I don't think you know this. Apparently, about three weeks ago, uh, The Price is Right was having its 50th anniversary uh, episode or something. Uh huh. So it was like a classic throwback to all of these games and stuff that, and it showed all these highlights and clips over the past 50 oh, years. Oh, fun! Yeah. Anyway, we got some Parmesan cheese here. I got the block so we can <laughs> um, grate it with our new cheese grater. I say our new, we've had it, but you know what I mean. You think this will go through that thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm. Okay, we'll see how that. Now, if we have this, then why do we need this? These are for snacking. But we can make our own parm crisp with this. This is true. But just for the, you Con know, convenience, convenience factor here. If y'all have never tried Those these little parm crisps, they are so good. This is like a great little snack. And we've got, oh, this is New York white cheddar. Yes, it's gonna be good. And then I always like to get one of these coconut avocado um, sprays because I feel like they're a good price there. And then since I use pretty much all of my Olive Garden Italian dressing on our crock pot dinner tonight, I saw that they had these and I was like, yes, that's perfect. And they were less expensive at Aldi. Got Bunky's coffee. Are you excited about your coffee? Oh, yeah. They didn't have mine, but I was like, at least I can get you one. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Thank you for keeping me in mind. And last but not least, we have some cream cheese. Yes, and y'all, I'm legit. Like, I've already taken two bites. You did not. Yes, I did. If you have never gone to Aldi and got this cake, do yourself a favor. Make a special trip. Do yourself a favor. 
you will thank me. It's the best cake in the whole world. And I say that with like 100% confidence. Like I'm not just saying it's the best. I mean, it's the best in the whole world. And you know what else? You don't even love chocolate that it, much. Exactly. So that tells you something right there. Folks. It's amazing. So good. Okay. So that's my little Aldi haul. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put these groceries away. And then I actually need to start editing this video. So you guys have it tomorrow. So I will meet you back here in the kitchen closer to dinner time. Oh, and we are not going to pick up the camper tonight. We're actually just going to pick it up on the way tomorrow. Cause it's like on the way to where we're going. So we don't have to go to the farm tonight. Hello. You say hello, crunchy munchy. Oh, thank you. So sweet. Oh, thank you, munchy. Okay. This crock pot recipe is pretty much done. So we're gonna bring some water to a boil and then we'll add our noodles once they're cooked. Stir it up, that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and shred our chicken. You shred? Yeah, we'll shred it. Okay. I'm gonna give everything a good swirl. I did add just a little bit more um, olive garden dressing to this and then like a splash of milk just to make sure we have enough like wood for our pasta. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add a little bit of pasta water to this too but it smells so good. Okay, I almost forgot about our broccoli again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up into bite-sized pieces. We'll get it here on our baking tray. I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and then just add some blend to it, so some salt, pepper, and garlic, and then we will pop this into the oven at 400 degrees just for like 10 to 12 minutes till it's kind of tender, and we'll add this to our pasta. Okay, so our pasta's done. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this pasta water so we can add it to our crock pot. I did add just another little splash of milk in here as well. I think that pasta water's it's critical. Yeah. You it, need it. Yeah, it took it it made it like all those noodles are beautifully coated now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I couldn't hardly speak because my mouth was, I was salivating so bad. Everyone loves that we always say the mouth wateries. Now everyone's like in the comments, like, oh, I'm getting the mouth wateries. Mouth wateries. Watch <laughs> yeah. This looks so good. As far as crock pot recipes go, this is up there with like Mississippi chicken and Mississippi pot roast for me. Mm. It is delicious. The tang in there and then the creaminess mm -hmm. is rich, but I will say I think you should use my trick and not put the entire block of cream cheese in there because I'm telling y'all like half to three fourths of it is just the right amount to make it not too rich, too thick, too heavy. It is Splendid. And then the splash of milk at the end, I feel like helps to kind of just like balance it all out. Yeah, agreed. I feel like this, uh, these ruffle noodles are mm -hmm. in, like great for this too. They really Ooh. capture all that good mm -hmm. sauciness. I think the broccoli is a must add because it brings a little bit of different texture, mm -hmm. but it also really gives a nice variation to the, the, the flavor. Like you, you can't have the same thing the whole time through, but throw a little throw a little bite of broccoli in there with it. I agree. There you go. It's like a little bit of freshness, a little crunch. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner, but thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. We would love for you to join our family. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more Day in the Life videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.